Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be on Bailey, the soul model. So the newest mutant is in the game, and it's Bailey, and she looks awesome. Uh, coming through the portal with all of her arms here. She's got six of them, four of the crazy yellow ones, and her two regular ones. Um, so Bailey's a powerhouse. Uh, she's modern era. She has a bunch of links. She's got the Women Superstars link, WrestleMania 35, 36, Bailey and John Cena, uh, WWE Mutants, any color moves, uh, starting MP reduced by three for your opponents. Uh, that should be very useful in Showdown. Uh, Modern Era, gems do 5% more damage, and she has the Soul Model gear. She is a trainer, and this is a big one. Blue Finishers do 150% more damage all the way at 15k. If you have Montez Ford, you want this trainer, and look out if you get it. Um, so yeah, uh, very, very good trainer. She's the blue finisher damage trainer, and it's a lot of damage. Um, so I have three movesets for you guys, a three-star, four-star, and a five-star. The five-star is definitely my favorite. I'll be running that one last, and there's uh, some pretty interesting things you can uh, that it does, so uh, stick around for that. Uh, let's take a look at her moves, and actually, I'm not going to use one move. Um, there is situations uh, definitely where it's usable. I just found other moves to fit a little bit better for my play style, uh, but certainly this one is usable, and when you look at it on paper, you think, man, I'm going to use this one for sure. Um, it's the Mutated Diving Double Axe Handle, 8 MP green, deal 73k damage, and choose 3 X Break Gems to destroy. Pretty straightforward. You hit it, does a lot of damage, and you choose 3 X Breaks to destroy. And uh, like I said, I thought on paper I was going to be using it. Uh, turns out for the way I did the move sets and, and my play style, it, it didn't work as well as a different move, which I'll talk about later. Let's talk about this three star move set. It's available starting at three star. It's going to feature the finisher, 10 MP red, uh, mutated multi smash, deal 79k damage, and choose two columns to destroy. Uh, the mutated running clothesline, 7 MP red. Deal 70k damage and choose one row to destroy. And the mutated multi arm bar. Uh, it's a sub 8 MP green. Place six submission gems and do uh, 14,845 damage for five turns. Remaining sub gems turn into X break gems. Um, the entourage. I'm going to run with Butch for four more red MP. Uh, Batista for 50% red move damage and one extra red MP. Lacey for uh, purple and green gems do more damage because uh, we're blowing up a lot of the board and everyone has her. And then uh, Bruno for the sub, so it does 50% more damage and lasts one more turn. We're going to be doing 22,000 damage for six turns when that sub goes out. A um, lot to talk about with Bailey, so I will do that during the match and hopefully play okay. So we're going to go against Bree uh, on the road. She is strapped. Bailey is a uh, very heavy gem damage based, so uh, we're going against a fully strapped opponent, so keep that in mind. Um, also, um, I do have tour perks, but not very high yet. I only have one starting MP for my tour perks. Usually I would have two and plus one on a match. I only have one MP, so keep that in mind as well. I'm not starting with very much MP compared to normal. Batista does get the um, row break, charge turn one, um, and if we have a row uh, of three in it, which we do, um, it'll load that finisher. Um, this one would also drop a, an additional three match in and uh, most likely force a pin. So I'm going to take this row right here and uh, hope we don't force a pin. Oh well, pin forced. It is what it is. Okay. So, uh, we want to charge either the sub or the row destroy again. Uh, so we want reds or greens. We get to destroy two columns. Uh, so we have five reds. No greens in those columns, but we do have five reds. That should get the row break loaded up again and start refilling... Um, the finisher here. Awesome move animations. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, for this one, 
you could run takedown, you could run double fury. Uh, I would be inclined to go with, uh, I believe, I would say fury. And the plates um, are going to make Bailey much better in every instance. Because um, she doesn't have a red generator, uh, so you're relying on the board. But um, with a plate like the uh, Aftershock, destroy three green, uh, get three red, that's going to be much more achievable to load. Uh, so do keep that in mind as well. Now this one is pretty nice because we can get two red, drop this down, and then get a three match of green as well. So that's pretty much perfect placement with our row break. And do keep that in mind when you're doing your row breaks. You can set up three matches and stuff. So for example, if we had the aftershock plate, we would match this three green, and uh, we'd get three red. Finisher would be loaded as well. Just as an example. You could also use two words for you since we're going to blow up a lot of the board, um, but either works. Uh, really, uh, this one is is kind of getting your moves in and then hit the sub to uh, delay them and keep hopefully some of these uh, X breaks out so that we can do a big boom with the finisher. It's hard to predict where the board's going to end up, um, so I just kind of put my gems out and hope a bunch of them don't get destroyed. Okay, and we get two columns, so obviously we're going to take the middle one. And we'll take the other... Um, We'll take the other cross break row. Decent board destruction, some nice cascade, and that'll do it. That's available at three star. Uh, the movesets, I like progressively more as they go. So I believe she gets better with each um, tier. Three star, four star, and five star. So let's take a look at the four star setup. Uh, it's gonna feature double yellow. And this is actually the move set that I was expecting to use that green move I talked about. Um, but we can kind of skip a step, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, also, this is where not having uh, two MP tour perks really hurts, because uh, I would be turn two without a match, and now I am I need a match to be turn two or turn three without a match. Uh, you could also go with uh, double MP trainers, but because she's gem damage based, I would like to um, I would like to show you guys closer to realistic damage. Although she's gonna hit way way harder uh, than I can show when she's strapped, it just makes a huge difference. So again, keep that in mind. So we're gonna switch uh, both yellow moves in. We're gonna keep that sub. Um, and the yellow moves are the Mutated Multi-Arm Bailey to Belly Suplex, 8 MP yellow. Deal 64k damage and choose 5 gems to make into green gems. The Mutated Running Dropkick deals 67,000 damage and choose 2 gems to make into X-Break gems. I did mess around with this a lot. Uh, I ran this moveset more than any of the other ones. Uh, I probably tried it. I don't know, 20 to 25 matches, bunch of different ways. This is the one I settled on that seemed to be uh, the best, uh, the most consistent, and taking the least damage. We're going to put Slick Rick on for 20% extra gem damage. You could also put Beth on uh, for more yellow MP uh, to start turn one. Uh, we're going to use uh, Kofi for more yellow MP. We're going to keep Lacey on there. And uh, we're going to also put uh, Zombie Kane on there. If you don't have Zombie Kane, you would want to put Slick Rick on, or take Slick Rick off and put Diamond Dallas Page Tech on instead. Um, this was the sweet spot to me. I did try it with DDP having more uh, cross breaks, but then it was less uh, damage. And if you put the three cross breaks in the middle, you blow up most of the board. So I found this to be the sweet spot, damage versus um, whatever. Uh, definitely the general's orders played on this one would be good, helping you get back to that yellow every time you break three reds. And really the sub is in there 
to get a few more X breaks out, but also to slow them down in case the board doesn't cooperate and give us yellow. So it's kind of a safety measure. Um, so ideally we want a yellow on turn one, a yellow match if we don't have it. Picking up one with a row break is perfect and we also get green. So that's, a, that's a fine. Um, so we're ready to blow up the board uh, next turn. You can see there's a few yellow on there, but not as many uh, as we would like to refill. So again, the plates are going to come in really, really clutch for her. Of course, a uh, five match for the AI and a cascade. So all their moves are ready. So uh, that green that green I was talking about sub to have to help um, slow the opponent isn't going to matter. So... Um, you want to place these where you pick up as many yellows as you can. Generally, the very middle of the board, either here or here, is the best. Um, so, like so. And this will give us most of them if we do it that way. Um, if we go this way, we'll lose one yellow, uh, but we'll hit, um, we'll hit all of them. Uh, all the yellows. So, I'm gonna go with that. Also can connect it to a bunch of greens. I could have also made a five match um, and got an extra turn or done a three match and then done the sub so she couldn't um, couldn't get a move off. Uh, but I want to show the damage, so we're just going to roll with it. And if she kicks out, uh, I'll take her shots. Uh, you can also place green uh, in spots that are going to break with like loot boxes to increase your damage. And this is why you don't really need that choose cross break, right? Because we're choosing to fill the green, um, and then we'd have no cross breaks left. So that move doesn't really make sense to me. Um, it's it's unnecessary. It's redundant. Um, in this case, now uh, we need a yellow match because there wasn't a lot of yellows on the board. Um, and if we don't get it, we have the sub to slow them down. And that's why the general's orders plate would be so important for this build, uh, because you would have got three more yellow for breaking red when we blew up the board. Um, so it just helped refill it uh, much, much easier. Oof, that's a big cascade. Uh, 354k damage is going to be really hard to kick out of against a strapped opponent. Really hard. There we go. That was definitely helpful. Okay, so here's here's a great case, right? She blew up the board, pretty much recycled most of her moves. And if we had that other green move, we'd be sitting here dead in the water, nothing to do. Uh, but we have the sub, so we're okay. We can get back control of the board, um, and we can delay while we get that yellow match. Again, uh, keep in mind everything you're seeing when we're blowing up the board. The uh, computer is very strapped, and we are not strapped at all. The board is really not going to super cooperate. However, we do have a nice crossbreak match right there that's going to blow up a bunch of the board for us. Uh, Double Fury for sure for this move set. Double Fury with the yellow uh, move damage percentage would be optimal. Okay. And again, the middle of the board is the best for blowing it up. You can either go this way or up and down. This way um, would be pretty good. It doesn't matter at this point because we don't need to refill, so whatever. I don't need to overanalyze the board. I can just blow it up and we win. Sure, why not? And that would have been a very nice hit. You can see it would have been 400,000 damage. Um, 
and then you strap us up on top of it, it's a healthy chunk of damage. It's just hard to show when the opponent is strapped. All right, now we get to the good stuff. This is my favorite build set by far, um, and it's really cool. All right. Let's get this triple red loaded up. And uh, there's a really neat mechanic with this snowfall gem that I want to show you guys, uh, which isn't readily uh, noticeable, and I didn't know it would work this way. Um, just in practicing, I happened to try it, and it, it worked. Um, and I was very surprised this is how it works. But it makes sense when you think about it. And I'll explain it when we get in there. Um, let's go over the moves. So we're bringing the finisher back and the uh, the mutated clothesline back. You know what both of those do. Heavy damage, choose rows and columns. And the five-star move is a 9 MP red. Choose two red gems to modify into snowfall gems, which will modify all gems below it into X-break gems when broken by you. Uh, at first glance, you're like, okay, two, board-dependent, um... Not sure how that's going to work out for me. Uh, in practice, uh, there's something that makes it way better than it looks. On paper, I wasn't sure, uh, but actually playing it a bunch, uh, it's really quite good. Um, and I will show you guys why. Keep in mind, again, I only have one red MP uh, to start. So that is a factor as well. Batista gives us one bonus again. Um, so Butch for 4, Batista for 50% red, and one more uh, MP to start. We're going to keep Lacey on for uh, gem damage because we're blowing up a bunch of the board. And then we are also going to put um, Typhoon on for red, ge red gem damage as well. Um, obviously, if you had Snoop or Gooker, those would be the better plays. Um, they're rare trainers. I have them, but I'm not going to use them for this preview. Um, and this Mutated Spine Buster also does about the same damage as the mutated running clothesline for a base. Um, it doesn't show it. Its base is right around 70,000, though. Um, so it's going to be almost the same damage. So that's another thing to note. Maybe it'll show it later, but it doesn't right now. Uh, so let's get out here and take a look. And this moveset is really, really fun. Um, so initially, I need uh, three to charge the finisher. So if we have three reds on any row, uh, finisher is charged. Uh, if I had two MP, we would only need two. Uh, we do have multiple spots of three this time. Um, so I'm going to pick uh, one of those, which hopefully won't lead to a big cascade. And then we can get started turn, run. Uh, turn one. Perfect. Now you might be thinking, okay, you put your snowfalls out, but then, or then what are you going to do? You're going to break them and you're going to have to wait for the next turn to use them. That's what I thought, right? Because you're going to break them with these two columns and then you're going to, they're not going to be there till the next turn. However, the way it works is uh, columns break from the top gem down. So it breaks this one first, this one second, this one third, etc. So what happens is when it breaks the top one, all of them turn to cross breaks beneath it, and then as it continues down breaking them, it breaks all of the cross breaks. So you're making and breaking them in the same turn, um, which is really cool. So we're going to basically blow up the whole board. And um, you can see the move damage is really beefy um, with Batista. So this would be a uh, great spot for double takedown you could also do fury because we're going to blow up the board and again the plates that you're going to need um you're going to want red on there i have general's orders on there ignore that uh it's aftershock is the one you want um anything that generates red we recycled anyway so it's not a big deal did huge damage um and we're ready to go again. And I will show that again. Uh, we don't need the columns, so I'm just going to do the damage. Even though we're not going to need it. And uh, not break a row. And watch that again, how those snowfall gems works. I was not anticipating that. 
and this makes the snowfall gems much better than I thought with in combination with the finisher because I thought you'd have to wait till after the finisher to use it so this triple red set is by far her best um, and really really great if you don't have aftershock uh, go with something like cheap shot or head games I apologize for that general's orders plate on there again blowing up the whole board you can see that time uh, we didn't get enough red to uh, fully recycle. That's where the plate comes in clutch. I will run that one one more time, uh, just because I think it's really cool. And I love the way that mechanic is on those snowfall gems. So I do want to talk about, too, the fact that we haven't had a female powerhouse since Beth, which has been a very long time. And... Um, we have, we have Bailey, in fact, on my last stream, I was talking about how we're overdue for a good female powerhouse. We haven't had a female uh, powerhouse in a long time in the game. And I really like this five-star moveset. And I think once you get it strapped up uh, with the right plates on it and and medals, uh, it's she's going to be a monster. Uh, you might not quite look it um, in the preview because I don't have strap, I don't have metal, Um but I'll run one more, and I'm actually going to throw the move damage trainers on there too, um, so you guys can see. I'll, I'll put Gooker and Snoop on for the second run. Sorry, the game decided to crash. That's okay, it gives me time to talk. I know everyone wants to hear me talk anyway, right? And uh, if you had 133 move percent metal, all of these reds are going to hit super hard. Um, so I think it would be particularly nasty. Because we're only going to add in total 50% uh, for Batista, 25 for Gooker, which is 75%. And 20 for Snoop. Uh, so that's 90% when a tier 4 metal adds 133. So if you, if you just had um, a tier 3 metal, uh, and keep in mind the mutated spine buster is about the same as the clothesline, you're going to be doing like 150, 150, 175,000 across all three moves. If you have Gooker or Snoop, you're going to add a lot more onto that. Uh, so the move damage is going to add up really, really fast. And that Aftershock plate is going to be really important for the recycle if you need it. Uh, but once you're strapped up, you're going to be doing a lot of damage, especially if you have um, the right move damage trainers, one or two, it's just going to help a bunch. You should be looking at over 600,000 in move damage, no problem. So here's an example of where not having three in a row uh, is a bummer because of my perks only having one. So we're going to have to wait for turn two, it looks like. Um, other stuff that you can do, if I wanted to break um, this row, I could set up a three match. However, I like the fact that one of those reds is towards the top, so I want to leave that alone. Oops, I should have taken two. I was talking. That's going to be a bummer. Bad play by me. Uh, luckily, I have a red match down here to save my bad play. Uh, because I didn't take a row with two in it. That's what happens when I start talking. Okay, so this one, they're not quite as high on the board. But not really a big deal because it's I have one in the middle, um, which is really nice. You can see that did 152,000 damage on that. We're going to do 140,000 on the finisher plus gem damage. <laughs> Bailey with the with all of the punches. Really cool animations on these mutants. I am loving this month. There goes the board. Nice green cascade. 300k damage. 
She did kick out and um, didn't quite recycle. Again, a case of where if we had the plate, um, we would be at nine and nine um, and it would be over. Um, and then we could also hit this row and get it as well, which is the row I'm gonna hit because uh, there's a red in there. And maybe we'll drop a three match down. Oh, nice cascade. Um, maybe we can get another cascade and end it right here. Let's see what happens. Almost. <laughs> one one notch away. Anyway, guys, um, the mechanic with the snowfall gem is really cool. I wanted to make sure and call that out, how the finisher broke everything underneath it. Um, so I think she's going to be a really strong uh, card at Tier 5. She's certainly usable before Tier 5 and solid, uh, but really good at Tier 5 and a lot of fun. Um, keep in mind, too, my tour perks are... Um, non-existent really with just one MP so not the best showing um, there and there it does it so yeah uh, soul model Bailey one, she's an amazing trainer, and two, she's a female powerhouse that's quite good and we need those. She will look much better when she's fully decked out than I can show. Um, proper straps and metals and plates will enhance her huge. Um, so keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this preview. Uh, I'm really excited for this month. I hope you enjoyed the background I threw up. I gave it a kind of a mutant feel to me. Um, it's a it's a really fun month, and I want to try to do something special. Um, I'll probably be using some fun different backgrounds uh, throughout the month. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, how you feel about this Bailey, um, what you think about the movesets, what you think about the Snowfall X breaks combined with the finisher. That was surprising to me and a really cool mechanic. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out, guys. Other than that, thanks for watching, and good luck out there this weekend. Good luck getting Bailey in her showdown contest.